Welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, should I reply back to a girl I dated who hasn't texted me for four months? This question may seem like a no-brainer. Absolutely not. If she can't be bothered to text you, forget it. But the problem is sometimes in life, we just don't know what happens to other people. Sometimes it can be a situation that a family problem happened or they, somebody got sick or all these things. I know that sounds like an excuse, but if they contact you and tell you why they didn't keep up with you, why they stopped communicating with you and have a valid reason for it, I absolutely think it's okay to start talking to them again and find out what exactly happened. I, if, if it just was a blatant see you later kind of situation, they just couldn't be bothered anymore, they were dating about five other people at the same time, absolutely not. Because you're not there to be there sometimes or when they go back and look at who they dated, oh yeah, maybe I'll contact them again. You don't want something like that. What I suggest always is forgiveness is a great thing, but sometimes it can be too much. We can forgive too many things and end up being heartbroken constantly over and over again. So weigh this out because it really isn't just a, a one, one or two sentence answer here. It really depends on what happened for them to stop communicating with you. If they have a valid reason and it, it's something that was just really difficult happening in their life, yes, talk, start talking to them again. It doesn't mean you're going to have a great connection, but you can at least find out. It's also great for your own closure as to find out why they stopped. Because I don't know about you, but I've had situations like that in my life and you kind of wonder what the hell happened. And even though you've moved on from it, you still kind of question why they just stopped, why they ghosted you, why they did all these things. So if somebody gives you the opportunity to find out why, regardless if it's a good answer or a bad answer, you know in your heart whether they're making an excuse, they're just coming back because it's a rainy day and they want to fill up their, uh, their dating group again. You'll figure it out, but I really believe that people don't always do the right thing at the right time. Sometimes you get scared. Sometimes you run away and you freak out because it happened too fast. It was too good. It was too soon after a breakup. All these things can happen. But if you go back to the person and you feel that you made a mistake and you want to let them know why, I think it's a great thing to do. Not only for you as the person who stopped texting or contacting, it's also good for the person to let them know why, what happened, what transpired. We're so quick today to just sort of bail on everything. We're also very quick to be scared and to run in the opposite direction of something that's good for us. If you come in there and you say to the, the person, I'm so sorry, I, you, you freaked me out. Everything was so good. I'm so sorry that I just bailed on you and, and ran away but things were so good between us I and I wasn't ready or anything along those lines. But your honest answer will not only help them, but it'll help you. And who knows, maybe you can rekindle something or start something, even if it was only a few dates you had. We're also quick to jump to conclusions. And I really think that we have to be a little bit more open and listen to what people have to say. Be a little bit more forgiving without being doormat or an idiot about it. You want to make sure that you're not being fooled into going back into something that's just going to repeat the pattern of what they did before. So really listen to them. If they come back in and they want to set things straight or apologize, even if they're just coming in to apologize, that's good too. It's closure for you and it's closure for them. And it also makes a lot less questions in your head about why they just disappeared. So yes, I think it's good to listen to them unless they blatantly just took off and, and said something nasty before they left. Then no, if somebody's rude to you and how they end it with you, 
I don't think that that's really something you want to bring back into your life again. But be very careful of people doing this and being allowed to come and go as they please into your life because that's something that you want to be really strong in your opinion about. Because your self-worth is, is at stake, your self-respect is at stake, and you don't want people just walking in and walking all over you and just being able to, as I say, come and go as they please because that's not right. So listen to what they have to say. If it's a valid reason, something happened, they were in a body cast in the hospital or something like that. Whatever it was that has a, a good valid reason, yeah, I would, I would give it a shot for sure. But just be careful. If they were rude and nasty about how they did it to you, yeah, I'd just move on. I wouldn't give it a second thought. There's a lot more people out there that are willing to be with you and talk to you and not just run away. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Please leave any questions or show topic ideas you have in the comment section. Please subscribe and thank you so much once again for visiting. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.